Hello everyone. So I have my box of random stuff. I haven't done this in a while. I figured, okay, today's the day. Let's just work with some of the stuff that I've had sitting. I added stuff to the box of random that I knew I kind of wanted to use up. I had all these like letters and stuff that I cut out of old magazines or I've had yeah so just figured let's use up some of that here and some of these other things that I've had for a while that just isn't doing anything I have tons of this so might as well use some of it this was recently given to me and a envelope. Oh, I found this really pretty gift wrap this past week and I decided I needed it. It ain't necessarily Christmas because they are flowers. And same with this piece. These pieces. I mean, they're really beautiful gift wrap. So thought maybe we might use some of this gift wrap on some things. Just pull one out for right now to use. Maybe with collaging and stuff. Then I have tons of these little definitions that I cut out of a kid's book a while ago and I just again never used it. So thought that might be a good idea to use. A card, washi tape, some lace is in here. There's wintry type washi tape in here. Tons of different types of little washi tapes and big washi tapes and stuff. Figure maybe come up with something. There are these leaves. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them necessarily because they're kind of like falling apart so I might end up throwing these away but my daughter found them and I ended up with them another definition thingy a spool of ruffles got this lace here got a tiny piece that I had sewn at one point one Christmas, but the other ones are not Christmas washi tape. Piece of paper. More paper here. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, I could use my spongy thingy. Maybe. I just got a bunch of randoms in here. Thanks. this another piece of randomness here Some paper clips we could use paper clips today Ooh. a little butterfly here Oh, not that I want to keep. Oh my. Crocheted piece here. Just another random piece of fabric that I've had sitting in here. Another cute flower, yellow flower here. The letter O. Okay. These are just pieces of what you call it. These are pieces we did a long time ago too. With eye shadow and nail polish so it don't come off. 
Etsy orders. And these are some product that I had made for Artsy Stamper, I want to say. Or, no, this one I did on my own last year. Merry Christmas. This cute little thing. So I'm actually going to use that. I have one last Christmas party to get to this week. But I really love this. Now that I'm looking at it. And these are some artsy stamper pieces that I used. Cards. So I think with what we have right here, we can come up with some things. Don't know what yet, but something. I'm just thinking if I cut this. Yeah. I already have that. I might as well just do it this way. this to be four inches though. And I'm just dyeing it. It's not going to be perfect, but it's something. Stick this on here. Stick some of this on here, too. Let's do it. Go for it, right? I like that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making something completely random here with the pieces that I have sitting here. But that's what you need to do sometimes is get out of your head a little. And yeah, I am adding Fabri-Tac to this. I've realized if you just use glue stick over top of anything with fabric on it, it just doesn't look right. So there we go. Got that going there. All right. And I am going to use my glue here. And this is kind of like the 
lip that Shabby Dabby Doo Dah did, but I'm doing it even more basic and that type of thing. I just, I had that in my head for some reason. I think it's because I watched that video <laughs> twice in order to actually watch it, watch it, because I get busy with the kids and stuff, so... I mean, I end up watching things sometimes more than expected. But yeah, that definitely... I'm just wondering if I could maybe put one of these... Yeah, why not? It's a great way of using up. Again, that's what I like to do sometimes is just use what I have on hand. I don't even know what the original plan was with this scrap booking piece of paper. It was one of those, all I know is I had it. And it's been sitting anything in that random box some of it was new but most of it was something that's been sitting there for a while there so again all done and I didn't distress it at all, actually. I don't feel like it needed to be distressed. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, so we have this card here. This is where I'm thinking this will come in handy, definitely. Take it and glue it down. Yeah. just does not want that corner. All right. And then we cut this out. Now, I was also thinking maybe some of this. Let 
And this I got off of a piece of clothing, actually. Yeah, sometimes that's all you need to do is just try matching your colors up a little and going from there. I mean, it ain't going to be perfect, but that's okay. Perfection's in the eye of the beholder, you know? I'm just thinking. This is that same red again, and I just wanted a frost here. Let's see. What else do I have here? Well, I have this butterfly, but I don't want the butterfly by itself on it. Maybe a word, too. Or a letter thingy here. This and that. Ah, I kind of like this one. Just relax. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really do. I like that idea. And yes, I did do that where it's more 3D-ish. So but I don't think that's going to end up working in a junk journal. So if I were you, I'd just glue off down both sides. And voila, you got it. Because I think this adds extra height and the piece behind it does. And then, again, it's a cute little card now. Does not look like something that, or was a, a playing card other than the back. And the back I'm not even going to redo. We'll just throw that in to one of our journals that may have similar coloring to it. All right. Now I have this piece here. And I think I'm just going to cover the entire thing. I honestly am not really caring for the them pieces at the moment. I personally, windows are just, I've had it with the windows at the moment. So I'm just going to glue it over top of it and call her good. So the kids don't realize this, but for once we get my favorite meal more than 
one day out of the week. I'm just saying. My kids normally have pizza and mac and cheese and chicken nuggets all the time. And I love my children, don't get me wrong. But there's only so much mac and cheese and all that you can eat on a daily basis before getting a little irritated at doing that. So. And I forgot my ruler in a different area. I will be right back. While I was in this other area, I found that and I thought, oh, this might actually look cute too with some of this. So we might end up using some of that too. We'll see. So i also been getting really into a new TV series on Netflix called Bridgerton. And I love it, honestly. Or Briggerton, I should say. And... I know it probably isn't realistic or anything else, but it just, it's a nice adult-ish TV show. Rather than always watching the same stuff over and over again. And yes, if you haven't noticed, I haven't decided if I'm going to have this open or closed necessarily yet. I'm just leaving it kind of open-ended on if I want it opened or closed. I'm just decorating it at this point. <laughs> Kids are just a yammering in there. Just talking about how their Noah doesn't have a bunk bed. They do have a bunk bed. And that's all I hear. Bunk bed this back. Bunk bed that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just adding things until it looks good. And I'm not planning it. Again, I'm just kind of just going with what I'm seeing needs to be done. Hmm. I'm just thinking what else do I want on it? What if I take <coughs> that broken leaf
I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's just an idea. use some of that a little bit um, what else can we do dun, 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 dun. There's a piece of that. Let's add a piece of this. Again, sometimes it's nice to get out of your norm with this stuff. Because then you get out of your norm once in a while. You're not in it constantly doing the same routines. And sometimes that's all you need is something like this. All I'm doing is playing around with stuff. I'm not really necessarily doing anything of real importance here. And I may never end up using this piece. I don't know. And I think that sometimes we get so stuck on our themes of journals that we don't think, oh my goodness, we could have something completely different without necessarily working too hard or doing too much. It's just a matter of taking the time do it to do that out of the box idea I mean literally I didn't do any distressing here I took a piece of leaf my daughter left behind and glued it on I glued on a piece of paper I mean a couple pieces of paper actually I used washi tape I used rick rack I used a piece of fabric. I used pieces from a, a old shirt that I had. I mean, I used a little definition thingy. And this is how my envelope ended up. Now, I might end up making this a page in a book. Or, and making the inside plain. I don't know yet. But until I make that decision, this is going to just sit in my thing and it might just be inspiration to me. You know, using different colors. Who knows? <laughs> but I think sometimes we need them pieces, you know, them pieces that are going to give us inspiration and thought and everything. Now I really like this, but I think all I want to do is back it. So I think that's it for my randomness for the day. I mean, it wasn't much, but there is always next time. I'll be 
of course, doing more random box stuff. I think I'm going to put these in my scrap box so then I no longer think that they're random now that I have a scrap box. But, again, I might just put these back in my random box. These pieces. This piece. I'm going to put this Rick Rack in there. I mean, we'll figure it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please comment. I don't know sometimes what you guys are thinking as I'm making these videos or... If something went wrong during a video, I would have no clue if you guys don't tell me. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day or night. Bye.